you dip on my hip when I dip you, dip you, dip. A lot of you might not know that I am an ex-dancer, so I had to get this video started with a little dance number. And talking about dipping, in today's video, we're going to talk all about hip dips. So if you are curious to find out how to style hip dips and to create harmonious outfits, then make sure to keep on watching, and of course, as always, watch until the end. Hey guys, for those of you who don't already know me, I'm Bella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome to my channel, Concept3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, we are going to talk all about hip dips because I have gotten so many requests from you guys asking me to do a video on different styling tips and tricks. So I am here today da, 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 to the rescue or to your assistance, however you see it, to show you some good options for kind of smoothing out this little thing. So before we go ahead and get into the styling tips for hip dips, I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. And to be honest, they're exactly what they sound like. They're little dips in your hips that are actually super cute, but a lot of us are annoyed by them. They are essentially a natural part of the body and are caused by the shape and positioning of the hip bones and muscles. They are more prominent in some individuals and less noticeable in others. So tip number one is actually one of my favorite styles of pants, and this is the high-waisted pant. Oh my god, this is super flattering on my curvy girls, and it's especially flattering if you have hip dips. So these pants that I'm wearing here are a high-waisted pant from Reformation in this sort of khaki color, super, super handy. And um, essentially, if you opt for high-waisted pants, skirts, or shorts, they can really help you create the illusion of a smoother silhouette and draw attention away from the hip dips into your beautiful waist. So the second clothing item that's going to look amazing if you have hip dips is the A-line skirt and dress. And this is such a beautiful, classic, and elegant silhouette, so I'm very happy to say it's compatible if you have hip dips. So here, because you have a sort of a clothing item and silhouette that it flares out from the hips, it's going to skim over your hips, so it's going to basically, you know, camouflage all the space of the hips. And if you tend to have more narrow hips, an A-line skirt or dress will create the illusion of wider hips and add more volume to the bottom half of your body. So my third styling tip for hip dips is wearing a peplum top. And I'm not sure if you're familiar with the style, but I absolutely adore it. So peplum tops have a flared ruffle or extension at the waistline, which can add volume and balance to your hips, making hip dips a little bit less noticeable. Now this option for hip dips is in a totally different area of the body, but I think that it's a great way to draw attention to, you know, the upper half of your body and, you know, therefore it makes the hip dips a little bit less prominent. So for tip number four, we're going to talk texture. And a lot of you may notice that you notice, a lot of you may notice that you notice, huh, that's so funny. Some of you may notice that your hip dips are more prominent when you're wearing smoother fabrics. So essentially, if you choose any ruched or textured fabrics, this is going to be a better option at kind of hiding and tucking away that little random dip. Now moving on to tip number five, we have wearing belted dresses and tops. You can see me wearing this sort of belted dress that has a tighter fitting silhouette and a belt is really amazing, whether it's in a dress or a top because it can help accentuate your waistline and create a more defined shape, making the hip dips a little bit less prominent. So with what I'm wearing here, it's definitely a plus, but if we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see that although this dress is beautiful, it is very thin. Try and wear thicker fabrics rather than thinner ones. So looking at this dress, you can see that the fabric is very thin and flimsy. And then if you look closely, you can even see through and, you know, see the little gap between my thighs. It's making the shape of a triangle. At first I thought it was a little stain, but you know, we're good. <laughs> 
So by wearing a thicker fabric, let's go over and look at this dress, which is also, you know, a little black dress I have in the back of my closet. It's from Classy Network. You can see that the fabric is a lot thicker. So therefore, in addition to having a thicker fabric, also a lot of ruching on the hip area. So here we're combining the ruching along with the thicker fabric. It's a win-win for hip dips. Between these two little black dresses, you can see that the thinner one is going to accentuate my hip dips a lot more and the thicker fabric is going to camouflage them a tiny bit more, giving me a bit of a smoother silhouette. So when styling and dressing yourself, it's always important to remember to have fun. Regardless of these tips, these are not end all be all. If you don't wanna follow all of them, you don't have to. If you wanna follow a few, that's great. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you are comfortable in what you are wearing. Yeah, so if this video helped you, then make sure to click the like button so that I can reach other people and help them as well, giving them a few styling ideas when styling hip dips. And then also, if you're not part of the channel, part of the level up group that we have here, make sure to click the subscribe button and then also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly on fashion, image, and transformation, and I would absolutely love to have you here with us. This being said, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye.